Welcome back, guys. Uh, I'm actually making this video right after I finished the install or the uh, the cut. <coughs> Welcome back, guys. I'm actually making this video right after I finished the Linux Lite video, and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because, in my opinion, this. Uh, this distribution along with Linux Lite are two of the best that you can possibly use if you're if you're switching to Linux. Now uh, this particular distribution is very similar to Linux Lite in that they spend a lot of time putting together a configuration package and options to make your transition <clears throat> to Linux very easy. And this is, of course, the great <coughs> MX-15. Now, if you take a look at the uh, MX-15 whisker menu, it is very similar to Linux Lite. And one of the similarities is the proprietary configuration options that they have assembled. Um, let me take a look and then I'll get into some more specifics. So let's look at all of the <clears throat> packages. Now, if you look at the MX branded options, you've got apt notifier, boot repair, broadcom manager. Now I will say that I didn't even need to use this broadcom manager. When I installed MX15 on my main computer with Broadcom Wi-Fi, it configured it right out of the box. Uh, so that doesn't normally happen, especially with Debian. Uh, so kudos to MX15 and the uh, terrific uh, bunch of uh, folks over there. They're very responsive. Check apt GPG. That's basically for a sign off on, uh, <clears throat> on your sources. MX Codex Installer, I ran this. This basically installs a lot of the multimedia codecs that you would need. Uh, Network Shares, Flash Manager, Menu Editor, Package Installer. This also, as with uh, Linux Lite, this also puts together a list of packages, very commonly used packages, to make it easier for you to install them in bulk. You can just check off the ones you want and, you, and it'll install and you're good to go. Okay, so you've got panel orientation. Now, I normally, uh, MX-15 would come with the panel uh, on the left-hand side, vertically. Uh, I elected to use this panel orientation option and put the panel horizontal along the bottom. You've got remaster. CC live persistence select sound this easily you can easily select your sound card and this MX snapshot you can create a snapshot of your install so that you can uh, boot up off it and install it to another machine you can switch users MX tools which I'll get to in a moment user manager and the welcome screen MX Tools is basically everything that you need to configure your system. And that's all of the things that I just mentioned in the Whisker menu. Really, really, they, they've done a terrific job. Now, over the weekend, I, um, when I was installing uh, MX15, I wanted to stream Hulu and I was having some difficulty. And so I popped up a question on the MX-15 forum. I'd say within a half hour or so, I got a response with the fix. And I'm now able to stream Hulu, Netflix, Amazon Prime. I can also play my Battle.net games, and I've also got Steam installed. You can see it down here in the panel. Uh, really, outstanding they have very a lot of similarities to Linux Lite in that 
they take a lot of time uh, tailoring the distribution uh, to users who like have a little would like to have a little help getting their configuration done and so they really do a good job making it easy for you to set up your machine the community on both both ends is extremely responsive and the distributions themselves are just a joy to use every day so this is MX15 the latest version um, you cannot go wrong if you want to uh, switch over to Debian and also one of the terrific things about MX15 is if you want to use OBS Studio uh, as I do they have it available in the in their test repo so all you have to do is enable the test repo in your sources and then install OBS Studio and you're using OBS Studio within Debian now most other Debian distributions all of them that I know of uh, they don't have the uh, OBS Studio available in their repos you have to actually compile it which I have done but it's a tedious process and it's prone to failure and it's not easy for the new user to do. This gives you access to OBS Studio without any headaches at all. You just check off the uh, repo in your sources list using Synaptic, very easy. Uh, do an update and then download, install OBS Studio, which is exactly what I did, and you're good to go. The one difference they have is that uh, Linux Lite is an Ubuntu distribution, MX15 is a Debian distribution. Other than that, they're both outstanding. So whatever your interest, whether it be Ubuntu or Debian, uh, your bases are covered. I cannot recommend MX15 any higher. And um, as I said in my last video, if you're looking for an Ubuntu-based distribution, you can't do any better than Linux Lite. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.